what advice would you give to students coming to this program or studying Yiddish elsewhere? So my favorite line on that I, I discovered when doing research for my first book, it was the headline of the communist Yiddish newspaper in the Soviet Union called Der Emes. And the headline read, um, Yiddish is euch parnosa for Yiddish kinder, which translates as, Jewish kids can earn a living from Yiddish too. Final question. What is your favorite Yiddish word? Oh, my favorite Yiddish word? Um, oh, that's a hard one. I mean, I have, I have a fondness for uh, Oizgumutshet because it was one of the first words we learned in that Yiddish class at, at school. And it's just so fun to say. You get exhausted saying it. Like, already, it's... It's, it's, it's almost an onomatopoeia, but not in sound, in, in the feeling you have as you're saying it. It just it wipes you out. The word for orange, which I think is Moretzen, which I really like. Um, I think in the second or third day of class, I had this whole, we were doing colors, and Yuri was listing, you know, he listed like four colors. You know, these are colors in Yiddish. And we're like, wait, what about orange? I wear an orange. Uh, necklace that a, my friend made for me actually when it came to this program. I have some orange in my bracelets, you know, so orange isn't my favorite color, but I really like it and you can't just dismiss it. And you said, that's, that's, not a, that's not a color, it's just orange in Yiddish. So I said, no, and I look it up in the dictionary, Moransen. You see, that's a good Yiddish word. Moransen, that's oranges, like you eat them. And ever since then, Moransen's kind of I feel like a special connection to that word. I also really like oranges. They haven't had any since I joined the program. Maybe I should fix that. Um, well, the one I like saying a lot is zicher, which means certainly or of course. Um, it's a really useful word and I use it a lot. Um, I know people use avada, but I like zicher. It's a little it's a little more off the beaten path and more in line with my personality. So, zicher. <laughs> my favorite Yiddish word. Okay. Oi, 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 Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Nothing's really coming to mind. I feel a little put on the spot. That's not a problem for, for you, but, you know, I'm, my mind is a little blank right now. Okay, so let me see if I can pronounce it right. It is, and you can help me if I'm wrong, ongepatschte. Ongepatched? Ongepatched. That's my favorite word. Not the meaning, I just like to say it. What does it mean? Um, it means, like, if something is ongepatched, it's like, it's very busy. You know, like, if, if an article of clothing is ongepatched, there's a lot of design or, you know, a lot of features to it, like sequins and bedazzlement. It's just, it's a very, like, colorful word. And it really does mean close to what it sounds like, in my opinion. I love it. Um, <laughs> it's not really a Yiddish word, though, I don't think. Kurspeckle. <laughs> Kurspeckle. I love it. I love it. I love it to the degree that I greeted my sweet mate with that word instead of hello. I was just like, Kurspeckle. <laughs> and she just looked at me, but understood what I was going for. And she said hello back. Do you have a favorite word in Yiddish? Oh, I don't think so. I think they're all great. <laughs> um, back them. Why? I just, there was some, I was, I always really just like, uncomfortable. I just, I always really liked that word. I don't, you know what I mean? There's nothing, at least, that's not, um, there's nothing that's not like, uh, or there's nothing that is available to my consciousness right now as to why I would choose a word that means uncomfortable to be my favorite Yiddish word. But, um, but there's, I, I don't know, I, I like, there's something I like, bak vem is comfortable. So um bak vem, I just like, it, it's very similar to English, I guess, in that respect. But there was something about how the word sounded that I just, I really liked. Tzutzi, shay, er hota tzutzi tzu ir. Zihota tzutzi tzu im, tzutzi. This is awesome. The 
ten million dollar question. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite Yiddish word? Oh, I've been waiting for this one. Okay, <laughs> my favorite Yiddish word is balabusta, and here's why. First of all, it's really fun to say balabusta. You just can't not have fun saying it. Second of all, it it means like you know like master of the house or like housewife or whatever. I kind of like reclaiming that because I've done a lot of gender studies classes and like I kind of dig just like. I don't know how I'm going to use balabusta. I think I'm going to use it a lot. And, sorry, I just like get really excited when I talk about it. I decided if my rap, if I had a rap name, it would be Balabusta Rhymes. And I remember being a little kid and sometimes I, I said earlier that m my parents occasionally, my dad mostly occasionally used some Yiddish words here and there. And he sometimes called my mom a balabusta and I didn't know what it meant. All I knew was she got really upset when he called her that. And <laughs> so I guess the little rebellious part of me is like, yeah, I want to be a balabusta. I mean, not really, but like I do. You know, I actually may have already told you, I mean, I think I may already use this, but I, I just, Elgenboygen, like I just really like saying it. It continues to amuse me no matter how many times I say it. And I know that that's like a little post vernacular. I'm making it into this like joke, this fun thing for me to play around with. But it's just a great word. It's just such a fun word. I could say Elgenboygen all day. <laughs> okay, do is ganz poshet. Do. 18 Studenten, was mir klein sei euch, die beste, die schönste und die klickste. Äh, und äh, alle seien Junge.